Okay, this sermon is entitled, Faith is All or Nothing. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 148 reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in all the heights. Praise ye him all his angels. Praise ye him all his hosts. Praise ye him sun and moon. Praise him all ye stars of light. Now, the Bible makes it very clear that you have to put your faith alone in Christ alone, or you can't be saved, and those who add works will never be saved. Somebody asked me, they said, well, what about people that believe in Jesus, but they're also adding works? Well, see, there's nothing wrong with works, as long as you're not adding them to faith or trusting in works. Everyone who opposes free grace, a.k.a. my preaching, is trusting in their self. They're adding works, whether they admit it or not. And that's why these people are so angry, because I'm condemning them justly and scripturally, and they don't like it. But the Bible makes it very clear that when it comes to faith in Christ, it's all or nothing. You either put all your faith in Christ, or you have no faith in him. Turn over to Acts chapter 8. Let's take a look at verses 36 and 37, and it reads, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Now, when it says all thine heart, obviously it's just talking about putting all your faith in Jesus Christ. You can't divide your faith and divvy it out. You have to have all of it in Christ or there's no faith in Christ. Now, it's kind of like purchasing a hamburger. The hamburger is $5. If you pay $5.35, you're not going to get any change back when it comes to salvation. The 35 cents you add is what you're really trusting in. And the same with salvation. If you add works because you misread James 2, the works you add, that's what you're really trusting in. That's not putting all your faith in Christ. And the reason why you have to put all your faith in Christ is because there's nothing else outside of Christ that has any salvific power, that has any means of saving. So when it comes to faith, it's either all in Christ or none of it is. Everyone who disagrees with free grace theology has got their faith divided, or perhaps they just don't believe in Christ at all, and they're just trusting in their works, and they're awaiting hell. So that's all I have. You either believe on Jesus Christ 100%, or you don't. Those who don't are justly condemned. Those who do believe on Christ have everlasting life that can never be lost. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.